Okay, a few other questions that came in. You know, this specific example, a question regarding an infectious disease as being a trigger of IMHA. In these instances, if that infectious disease is treated, mm -hmm. can this animal be expected to recover from IMHA? I think generally my outlook is a more favorable, but the reason they may have IMHA with an infectious disease is that although the infection initially caused the immune system to go after the infection, the immune system may have become confused. So even if you eliminate the infection, the immune system is still recognizing self. So in some cases, in a sense, it doesn't matter if you treat the infection, you still need to treat the infection. But in terms of controlling their IMHA, it may have less benefit. That said, in many cases, they do seem to respond better if there's an underlying cause that we can eliminate or treat um, that doesn't have a separate bad prognosis. You know, I mentioned cancer can, you know, that can make a worse prognosis because the trigger has a bad prognosis. So anaplasmosis has at least been associated with IMHA. I think it's one of those questions, is that really the cause of IMHA? Or I know here in Ithaca in the Northeast, a lot of patients have positive tests for anaplasma. So how much of it is, you know, a patient test positive for something and it's actually unrelated to IMHA or, or another condition, so. Great, thank you for that.